Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shafti from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And uh, I was scrolling through the old uh, interweb YouTube feed. And as usual, I'm always looking on the uh, Common Sense Show by Dave Hodges. As I said before, you know, this guy has a lot of uh, great information. And I'd probably say about nine times out of the ten, it, this guy's pretty spot on about, you know, what's going down in America, things that are going on across the world, and other such uh, geopolitical events. But nonetheless, this segment, he's... Uh, He's confessing it. He's giving up. He says it may be too late for civil disobedience. And so we're going to let uh we're going to start it at the 4 minute 18 minute mark and let it play to about almost 7 minutes. Benefits. Um civil disobedience I do not believe is going to turn the tables anymore. I think we've passed that point of no return. If we would have done this in May and refuse to obey i think that the uh forces uh that are taking over our cities right now i think they would have been limited in their ability to act because we would have already been unified and we would have stood up to them we haven't stood up to the violent takeover of our cities and i'm not saying we shouldn't cooperate with good protesters with good intentions we should we should all want to work together live together and work towards better policies i've always been in support of that and i was in support of that after the george floyd murder Notice what I'm referring it to as a murder. It was a murder. And people should be outraged. You don't have to be black to be outraged by this. Everyone should have been outraged by this. He was a human being. I don't care if he was in custody. He didn't deserve to die. But what's following right now, what we got, what Attorney General Barr said yesterday on Capitol Hill, he's right on the money. Legitimate protests have been hijacked. Now, there's still some legitimate movements out there, and I read about them. People write to me and say, Dave, are you on board with this kind of deal with the police? And most of the time, I find that their, their, their reactions are very reasonable. I don't know if some of them are practical, but they're reasonable. But, ladies and gentlemen, our cities are being occupied. It's too late now for civil disobedience against the government and its COVID-19 policies, trying to eradicate a virus, when, which no virus has ever been eradicated in history. It's too late. I still think you should stand up for your rights. I still think we should be engaged in civil disobedience. But civil disobedience by and unto itself will not change what's going on. Your cities and soon your towns and soon your highways are going to be occupied. We're just seeing the beginning. And there are revolutionary forces involved. And it's not just Antifa. It's not just Black Lives Matter trying to make statements. It goes a lot deeper than that, and we're going to be talking about that throughout the day here on the Common Sense Show. My name is Dave Hodges. I'm sorry to be bringing you this news, but I'm telling you right now, use this as an impetus to get prepped. Food, water, guns, gold, ammo, medicine. And hey, Dave, I'm not sorry you got to give this uh, so-called bad news. This is great, all right, because what you have going on right now with Mr. Hodges is he's admitting that there's no hope for America. The times of living plush and getting fat and enjoying the, the fruits of the, the satanic labor, right? That bad uncle Esau has uh, been able to enjoy for hundreds of years. And these other nations have also been able to as well. Hey, that, that time is gone. And we're going to go to, uh, I believe it's Jeremiah... 51 where it talks about taking balm for Babylon mm -mm. Jeremiah 51 and 7 it says Babylon hath been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken alright Babylon which is modern day America all right because you got all types of confusion here all right good is evil evil is good 
the woman's over the man. The child, the child's over the man in this this day and age. All right. Law abiding people are the criminals and the criminals have rights. OK. And how are they? Uh, how have they made the nations drunk with Satanism, witchcraft, democracy? It says the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad because they realize they've been duped at this place. The, the thought of America being a place that was pure and innocent and uh, the beacon of light for all nations to follow, hey amen, that, that illusion is done. People now see the, the dirty, grimy filth beneath the surface of America, all right? As the scripture says, bad Uncle Esau has been made bare and... This is why these nations are like, my goodness, man, we done made a deal with this devil and this, it, it, it hasn't turned out the way we wanted it to. All right. That's why they're mad. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Why? Because it is not the great superpower that it used to be. Okay. Financially wise. All right. I think I saw a, a, a article that said uh, uh, China and Russia said uh, goodbye to net and not a Jew, all right? They're going to uh, start having a whole lot of uh, discussions as far as being able to do things financially and uh, gain allies without the help and circumventing the uh, imposters over there. All right, not only that, we all know that China and Russia are making uh, many plans Okay, to circumvent the petrodollar and its allies, Syria, Iran, so on and so forth. All these nations have come together to circumvent the financial strength of America. And this is another reason why America is falling. Not only that, you got the boogeyman. All right, that's caused businesses to shut down. You got a uh, hyperinflation. People can't afford food, clothes, shelter. All right, by I think. By September, what, 33% of the people in America are going to be homeless? All right, there's, there's no recovering from this place. This is how Babylon is falling, also spiritually. Babylon is falling spiritually. I mean, not that it ever, ever had a moral high ground because it was based off rape, robbery, and murder, but even the illusion of America being this place of of regal splendor and purity, hey, that that whole, like I said, that whole illusion is done with, all right? That's why this place has fallen. And it says, and destroy, how for her take balm for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. And balm is an ointment for healing, all right? When you have sores and uh, wounds, so they don't get infected. And it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. All right. And you hear Dave Hodges complaining that, OK, we would have been able to reverse this thing and possibly take back America if people weren't so lazy and they would have engaged in civil disobedience. All right. But civil disobedience, a hey, America has been way past that point. Way before even the boogeyman came on scene, America was way past the point of, of returning. OK. And it says, uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches to heaven and is lifted up into the skies. All right. It's time for America to fall. Plain and simple. And that's the main reason why civil disobedience is not going to help. It's as uh, I believe... It's uh, it's in Job four, where it said he appointed the bounds that he could not pass. Mm, or is that a song? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Job fourteen and fifteen. I mean fourteen and five. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And that's America. 
And that's why civil disobedience is not going to work because the Lord has prophesied and ordained that the time for America, Babylon the snake to fall, is this time right here. And he said because these Americans are too lazy and too fearful and don't have a backbone to fight back, all right, soon every single street and every single neighborhood is going to be occupied. And that's why we're going to go to Second Ezra, classic, classic scripture, okay? Second Ezra 15, and uh, we're, on, we're just going to get straight to the point. It says, no, Second Ezra 15 and 7. We're just going to go straight to the point. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Because when these streets in the very near future are occupied by the military, the UN, and the FEMA troops. I mean, you saw how it was in Chicago when all these niggas went out and started losing their damn mind, burning stuff. Man, you had military everywhere. You had uh, 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 the MRAPs armed, well armed <laughs> National Guards, okay? They had many of these streets blocked off, especially when you tried to go into uh, the downtown area here in Chicago. All right, they had a very big section of the. Uh, I guess for lack of a better phrase, money center of Chicago blocked off. It was blocked from uh, as far south as 26th Street all the way over west to Halstead and as far north as in some places, uh, Division, some North Avenue and, and the lake by all the way over east by Navy Pier. All, and that, if you've ever been to Chicago, you know that's a huge area of land, okay? And the majority of the money that's made in a lot of the business that's conducted here in Chicago is within that area. I mean, you got City Hall, you got your big-time law firms, you got a lot of your uh, uh, media studios uh, downtown, I mean, your major uh, retail outlets, all these things are downtown. So, hey, when that time came, you just had military everywhere. And as I said before, in the near future, it's going to be the same way. All right. It's just that it, they're going to be all throughout the city of Chicago. All right, if you don't have a job, if you don't have paperwork, you're not going anywhere. You will be confined to your home. I mean, you thought that this house arrest was bad. Hey, you folks ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, and because of that, you had Dave Hodges saying that with the, the level of things that are going on, he said, man, things are going to get so bad you're going to know that there's something far worse, far greater out there than what we see. Okay, in order for all this mischief and mayhem to happen, we know that there has to be some underlying dark force out there, which is true. I mean, roughly paraphrasing what he said, and that is true. All right, you have the satanic force out there. As it says... I believe it's in, uh, we're going to go to, I'm going to trust the spirit that I remember this. I think it's in Ephesians 6 and 12. And it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. And who are the main rulers of darkness in this world? Bad Uncle Esau. All right, followed by you other heathen nations and the two-thirds of our people. All right? Against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, because you have the low-level wicked elite 
who are at the top, all right, and you got the righteous high level elite, the elect, who are at the bottom, all right? And what many people don't know in this world is that they are truly fighting against a satanic force. All right, and this satanic force is using the nation of Edom to accomplish ultimately the will of the Lord, but using the nation of Edom to accomplish all these wicked deeds. So it's uh, an amazing time that we're living in, but a hey, Dave Hodges is just another Edomite who's finally realized that there is no hope for America. And in the very near future, many of you all will see that there is no hope in America as well. So if you are so-called black, Latino, or Native American, all right, you need, to, uh, you need to get right so you can be on the winning side. Because when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai comes back, hey, trust me, you're going to want to be on the winning team rather than the losing team. So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. And with that, we're going to say Shalom.